Hi, I'm Marty from South Wales Injector Removals. Uh, Going to do a short video today to show you how to remove the front end of a TVP, Traffic Vivaro Prima Star. Um, so if you're going to need to get at the EGR, the glow plugs, starter motor, even the alternator, rather than struggling, it takes about 20 minutes to get this front end off with minimum amount of tools. Um, so I'm going to show you how to go from to this with minimal effort and it is nice and easy honestly it take you 20 minutes 25 minutes maybe half an hour on your first go um, and you can get all that off with just these tools t30 torx you may need a t20 or a phillips screwdriver depending on what someone's done a couple of extension lead extension bars 13 mil 10 mil 7mm Jubilee clip remover, or you can use a 7mm socket just for the intercooler pipes. Go into the intercooler and a ratchet, or if you're lazy like me, I use the cordless Dewalt, the 10.8, because I find it small, compact, and easy to use. Right, first job, uh, the grill off. Uh, there's only five bolts holding this on. There's three across the top, and two, if you look, there's one under there just above the number plate and one that side so all you need is your T30 you can use a ratchet if you want um, I use this, it's the Dewalt 10.8 uh, volt um, little impact gun uh, the 18 volts are supposed to be really good but they can snap off a 10mm without really trying so I personally I go for the 10.8 volt so there's your five bolts. Keep them in your hand, or put them in your pocket. Keep the keys. Put them in my pocket. Right, that's all you need to do to undo it. Right, come round. Um, on these, they're clipped in across there. Can you see it? They're clipped in across there, and there's one small clip there. So all you do, place your hand underneath there, give it a quick tease, and that is it. That's the only thing that's holding it. There we are. So you pull that, that comes off. Same again, grab it at the top right hand corner, that pulls off nice and easy. And there you are, that's the front end off. Right. If you're doing this outside in the sunshine, don't put the parts in the sun because the sun will melt them. It's up to you, you can put all your bits, all your nuts and bolts. In a, in a tin or a bucket or whatever you want to use. Personally, rather than have them kicking all over the floor, I put them back in with the, the holes that they come out of. One, so you know where they are. And two, you don't end up mixing different length nuts and bolts with uh, the wrong areas. Next, nice and easy one is the bumper. Same again, T30s. Two on the top, one each corner underneath the headlights. Then you should have, depending on how the vehicle's been treated, this one, as you can see, is broken there, so there's no point in taking that one out because it's going to stay there. Underneath the wheel arch, there'll be another one. That one's broken. Obviously, this band has a bit of a hard life. Then this one under here, another one on the side, and another one under the, under the wheel arch. Yeah, they went. Yeah. Oh. And also down the bottom, yeah. There might be a Phillips screwdriver, it all depends who's been here before you. Phillips screwdriver, or this one's a torque, it's a T20. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. That's all that's holding the bumper on. You can have them, or you should have them. One directly behind the bumper goes in there. It'll be a T30 again with a big washer. This vehicle has been in before with me, so I know, I know the vehicle. It's had a front end bump, and that's why the 
this, the bolt isn't in there because I haven't replaced the. Uh, The bumper loose. If you've got fog lights, the fog lights will unclip from back here. Um, this one's got the temperature sensor, um, and that's just a nice and easy clip. You leave, you don't leave the front end hanging. Also, again, don't put the stuff back in in the sunlight. And personally. I put the box back in. So finished with the T30 now. All you need, I use short extension and a 10 mil socket, six sided socket. Try not to use the multi sided sockets like like that. This is the Halfords Expert kit, but I don't know how many experts that use them. It's the multi sided ones. All you're going to do if they're a little bit stiff. You just round the bolt off and cause more problems. So next part of then is this um, under support bar. Uh, it's only held on with four bolts. And that's it. That's that off. As you can see the evidence of front end bump, put strain on the, the metal and that's corroded away. So um, I have spoken to the customer about replacing it and he's going to get a new one of them, a new one of them and then it's going to come back in um, or he might even get the parts and I'll fit them before he back in. Right, that's those done. Next thing, nice and easy, headlights. Three bolts, one there, one on the top. And then one hidden just under there, which you'll need your short extension for. So, undo it so far, press it with your finger, drop it on the floor. Normally, you can drop it down the back there and it falls down, and then you pick it up later on. Undo the headlights, just lift it slightly because you've got. Uh, a clip there, lift it ever so slightly, pull it towards you, nice and easy. Get the three wires for the main headlight bulb, give them a little jiggle and they'll come off. Three plastic, one clip for the adjuster, one clip for the indicator. That's just press a wire clip there, the spring clip, and then the indicator there, and that's your headlight. Out. Back in, so you're ready to go. And same again for the driver's side. There you are. Drop the bottom. Same again. Short lift up. Try not to break that clip. Headlight bulb wiggle. One clip, indicate that, side light, and she's out. Bolts back in. Right, what I recommend now is, if you look on the top of the wing there, a little plastic cover. Just tease that plastic cover out and then what you can do get your bolt, your bonnet holder, place it in there and then when you take the front end off the bolt's the bonnet's not going to drop down and smack you on the head. Right. Next one is the corner supports. One off the top, one off the bumper support bar. Pull it slightly out the way. Done. 
Same again the other side. This is where I go to manual tools for a short period. Right, you've got three or four that you've got to undo now. There's one here that's underneath the headlight. That is for the radiator. It holds the top of the radiator in. So just undo that. This one you can't put back in, or the other one, because obviously the radiator going to be there so this is a good place in the scuttle and the next one then next radiator one top of the radiator it's inside underneath just in front of the intercooler Yeah, this one's coming to me, the timing chain has slipped, uh, struggling to start, making an awful rattle. And uh, when I took the top off inside, inside the, the top of the rocker cover, looked inside those two holes and found those, which is the top of the fingers. So that's why the front end's coming off, because it's a big job. Right, next one, you'd normally undo those and undo that and take that off, but obviously because that's or retaking itself off, you don't need to do that. Right, pull it, catch. I may have to do a short video of how to do the put the bonnet catch back on because it's not just as simple as re it on. So, if you feel just inside, you can pull it back. Put the bolts on and um, the reason you can't just drag it out the way is because the intercooler is actually bolted to the front panel next you're going to need i got this it's a jubilee clip um, undoing tool it's just a seven mil socket on the end of a flexi pipe you're going to need this to undo um, i've already taken it off it's the turbo pipe and it goes from there to the EGR or the throttle body. Um, so you undo that, then obviously there's a turbo pipe that comes around to the other side of the uh, intercooler, which would be just by there. But they're already off, so it started stripping the engine. Um, and literally, last. Um, Four bolts, no, sorry, tell the light, five bolts. There's one, if you look down inside here, you turn the light on so you can see what I'm looking at. Inside there, just on the back, there's a 10 mil bolt there, um, underneath the right hand side where the ECU is, just at the back of the uh, headlight. That is just a, just a support bracket for uh, the back of the ECU cage. So, so far, all we've used is 10 mil socket and uh, a T30 torque to get all that off. And then the last thing we need to use is six-sided 13 mil for the four bolts that actually hold this thing all together. So there's one there, bottom left-hand corner, top left-hand corner, bottom right-hand corner, top right-hand corner. If you haven't got a buzz gun, stick the socket in there.
those two, keep them in your hand because you're going to pull them back here later. Top one. Top one. Right, the very last thing to do is to take the power steering pump um, bottle off. Just get the light so you can see what I'm doing. Just to the back of the, the bottle, you put your, place your finger in there, and there's just a little clip. Push it towards the bottle, and then lift the bottle up. And that's it. Then the whole thing is loose. And under that plastic bit there, plastic bit there that's just gripping onto it. Now you've got this back a little bit. Put the bolts back in. The intercooler will need to come out because there isn't a gap big enough to let the bonnet um, catch. Hold on. So, just for speed, it's only held on with two 10 mils. Show you where they are. There's the intercooler. If you look down there, top of the pipe, 10 mil there, and then the opposite side, there's another 10 mil there. So one's below the pipe, one's above the pipe. Under the two 10 mils, nice and simple. Ease the intercooler slightly back a bit whilst pulling up as well because it's located on two little plastic fingers like that and you don't want to slap them off. Pass the intercooler out, pulls through the intercooler, pull the uh, bonnet catch out of your way, pull the corner bracket slightly up and rest it on, pull the other corner panel up and out of the way, and that's the front end off. Oh. Literally quarter of an hour, 20 minutes. And now, if you want to get at anything, the glow plugs, the EGR valve, the throttle body, uh, alternator, all easy to access. If you need to do the actual EGR valve itself, which uh, the actual cooler with the flap, that's behind here. All you've got to do, I'm not going to do it now, um, get the radiator off. There's this big pipe there that goes there, that pipe there, there's another one down the bottom corner, two spring clips and the radiator's out. Obviously you've got to drain the coolant first, but then you'll get full access to the front of the engine. Start the motor right behind there, uh, power steering pump, um, and that's it. Hope the video's been useful to you. Um, if I can talk my wife into filming me for about six hours, um, I'll get her to show us how to uh, show you how to do a timing chain, but I can't imagine that's ever happening. Um, but I may do another video of uh, getting these injectors out or showing you the damage underneath. So yeah, so if you need to do any front end stuff, don't struggle. Get the front end off, really easy. 10 mil T30, uh, 7 mil for the Jubilee clips, and that's pretty much.